Hey, it's Chris, and in this video, we're going to talk about swim goggles for triathlon. Got a load here, going to talk through these and a couple more as well, and talk about my experiences. So uh, let's start with the uh, Zogs. These are the Predator Flex, and these are really my go-to. They've got this like uh, orange tint, and they've got the adjustable straps at the side, so you can dial those in. Now these are my these are my number one or were my number one go to. They're um, I can't really get them clean anymore, so that it's always a bit bit dirty on the lens because I've had them for so long. Uh, but the seal is really good, and yeah, it's it's really nice, comfortable goggle. Keeps the water out, and these ones don't tend to fog up have put loads of baby shampoo on them over the years and that seemed to have sorted that out. So I thought, okay, well, Predator Zogs, uh, Zogs Predator are clearly the goggles for me. And so I bought some more. I bought these ones, which have the mirror lens because of course mirror lens just looks cooler. And these are basically the exact same goggles, but with the mirror lens for when I'm swimming outside, looking into the sun. And I thought, great, but these ones, they're just not as good. Even though, like, they're exactly the same. They're both the Zogs Predator Flex. Got the same kind of strap system round the back. These things, number one, leak more than these. Again, I'm pretty sure they're the same goggles, but they leak. I've tried adjusting the straps. Can't get them to... They, they leak a little bit, like they're okay for a backup goggle, but... Not my main goggle because they do leak and they fog up a lot. I get, and they fogged up as soon as I bought them. Like this anti-fog stuff they say is on there didn't work from day one. I've now put some baby shampoo on them and they're a lot better. Um, so I think the lesson is most goggles you just need to baby shampoo to get them to stop fogging up. Um, but they, do, they don't quite seal as well as these for some reason. I don't know if I've damaged them but it... Seems to happen on both eyes, so I don't think so. So that was really annoying because I thought I was just going to be set for that for life, and then that's fine. That said, there is another tail here in that I then bought these. I think these are the uh, these are the Zogs Predator. So I think that's different to the Predator Flex, and the Predator Flex has this kind of uh, racket adjustment on the. Um, on the strap whereas this has this weird thing in the middle where you end up with these little bits waving around thought that would be super annoying actually these goggles have been really good so it is it is a bit unusual with the strap like i have to decide which piece of the strap goes either side of my man bun that i've shoved into my swim cap but these goggles are great they're really clear the seal is probably the best seal i've had on some goggles um, these have just got quite a light tint so good in the pool not great swimming into the sun um, but these are probably the best seal I've got better even than than the Zogs Predator Flex and so these are probably going to be my go-to swim goggles from now on so I don't know what to say about the, the Zogs Predator slash Predator Flex because I've had two good experiences and one not so good experience um, it's not a terrible hit ratio it's not perfect but in general the zogs predator flex are my go-to goggles that said i've got some other ones so i've got this aquasphere pair i bought this because i just wanted a bunch of different goggles to uh, sit around in in both my open water and my pool swim bags so that i always had a backup pair with me these have got that similar uh, ratchet system on the strap so the, that looks quite a lot like the, the Predator Flex. And seal on this isn't bad. It's not quite as good as the good seals on the Predator Flex, but it's a really nice, comfy plastic. They're clear. And the great thing about these Aquasphere ones, uh, they're, I, think, I think they're called the Cayman, is um, super flexible, nice and comfy, and they're only about £10. So compared to the Zogs ones, which I think are up around £30, if you want some backup goggles that 
you're not going to wear and so don't want to spend loads on them but you just need them in case your main goggles break uh, this is a really good option because the, the seal isn't perfect but they're nice and comfortable and they're cheap and so you can probably afford to buy a pair of these and just stick them in your bag as a backup so that is the aquasphere cayman then i have these uh speedo ones so these are these are the v-class view i don't think you can get them anymore um but the i think they'll be comparable to the new speedo ones these are the goggles i started with the seal is pretty good and they're, they're pretty comfortable the adjustment is um you just you can move this backwards and forwards like a like a bag strap and again i think these look pretty cool i think my face has shrunk since i originally wore these um so these goggles are okay i compare them to the aquasphere in terms of it's not a perfect seal but it, it's not bad like i was happy swimming in these i did my first couple of uh triathlons in the pool in these maybe um and they're pretty comfortable so i quite like speedo as a brand even though they're not a triathlon specific brand i think it's a pretty good option there uh, so other things i've tried i've tried the hoob albacore ones and i found those super uncomfortable like i didn't even take them into the pool because the minute i put them on I was like, these are really uncomfortable. It might just be that they don't happen to suit my shape of face. Don't really know how that works. But who are known for pretty good quality stuff. So for some reason, I just didn't get on with those and haven't used them. Um, and then the Roker R1s, another popular goggle. I did a review on those a couple of years ago and I said they're pretty good. But actually, I gave up on them pretty fast because they started fogging pretty fast. And they're also more of the in-eye ones. So if you look at all of these that I've been showing you today, they're all the ones that kind of go around the eye socket. And the Roka R ones are more that sit inside. And I just I don't get on with that style of goggle that much. So I ended up uh, giving those to a friend just because they weren't they weren't for me. That doesn't mean they're not for you. So. In summary, my main swim goggle is the Predator or the Predator Flex. I like these two, but it hasn't been a perfect story because I got these, the mirror ones, and uh, I just haven't got on with them. And I can't imagine it's the lens that makes the difference. Uh, the Aquasphere Cayman, pretty good backup goggles. I also like stuff by Speedo. If you go that, I think you will be fine. Me personally, didn't really last with the Hoob ones or the Roka ones, but that doesn't mean that they're not for you. Hopefully that gives you some insight into what goggles you need for triathlon or whatever swimming you're doing. If you found this useful, then please give the video a thumbs up. And if you want more videos on triathlon, multi-sport swimming, then hit that subscribe button because that's what my channel is all about and I would love to see you in another video.